Hello all, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to discuss how to use open source to create a knowledge base. So in a typical enterprise, if you see, there are many departments and each department has plethora of data. So for example, a HR department can have all the recruitment policies. A legal department can have all the legal contracts, NDAs, MSAs and all. And what we wanted to do using knowledge bases to organize them and store it in this knowledge base to later retrieve it. So our basic idea is you just wanted to create something which is logical, coherent, and later you want to retrieve it. So in this tutorial, what we are going to see is how do we use open search to create this vector database? How do we store things? And again, what we are going to use is we are primarily going to use Hugging face to store some embeddings, create knowledge base, and then ask some queries to retrieve those answers. So let's get started. So yeah, as discussed, let's talk about Open Search first. So Open Search is a service from AWS, and it is nothing but a fork of a very very famous service called Elasticsearch or EL Elastic. Uh, you may have heard something called ELK stack, which is nothing but Elastic. So what AWS has done is uh, it just forked the code and put it into their own ecosystem. So that is what open search is all about. So basically what you can do is you can store text, you can store anything into it and it will just work like how Elastic used to work. Now the benefit of this is that uh, earlier we used to store text, but now what we can do is, and again, this is not peculiar to open search, but this is also incorporated into default elastic search that we have something called dense vectors. And what dense vectors uh, allow us to do is they allow us to have embeddings inserted. So what you can do is you can take a text, you can, vectorize it you can put it into this dense vector and you can use for example open a open ai embeddings for example uh, you know ada models or other models you can use you can also use hugging face model so you can use sentence transformers you can embed your text and you can store it and once stored that is what we will call it as uh, knowledge base so what happens is we can go to enterprise and you know we can collect all the knowledge whichever is there in this enterprise we can store them into a knowledge base by storing the exact vectors and when we have to retrieve that knowledge base what we can do is we can have a query sent to this knowledge base and what we can do is we can just see how close this query is to exact knowledge base so if you have some specific question for example let's say about some in legal terms about some specific clause for example let's say governing law and if you see that you have separate documents stored in a knowledge base and you found that this specific governing law is actually stored in one of the documents so what will going to happen is these knowledge bases will have each vectors defined and the query that will come if the query is very very close by you, you know the query exactly captures the same meaning as whatever is in the knowledge base, then that particular thing will be retrieved and sent back. So that is the advantage of uh, using uh, vector spaces. And uh, there are many vector database stores. For example, Pinecone is there, you know, ChromaDB is there. But again, uh, you can use open search and Elastic also. And that makes sense also if you are you know, using the cloud ecosystem. So yeah, yeah. So with the magic of time travel, I'm back. So it took some time to instantiate our open search cluster, but again, uh, it's running now. So that's good. So here are some, you know, some things. For example, your domain endpoint, and you can also view dashboard and other things. So your uh, open search instance is running. Let's move on to a collab notebook and let's see if we can 
access this through uh, some code. So I have a collab notebook available. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to just walk through for now. And what we are going to do is we are going to use something called sentence transformers. Again, uh, you can use any embeddings, for example, open AI or coherent embeddings, but for simplicity, we'll use uh, sentence transformers. So what we are going to do is we are going to have a few text available for us and uh, we are going to embed it using sentence transformer, put it into this open search cluster. And then again, we will have some query and this query will be again converted into uh, embedding and we will see how similar both are. So if you ask a question and if the question is very much similar to whatever you have stored in a knowledge base, then it, it will be a match and let, let's, let's see that. So I'm just having a walkthrough here. So first of all, what I have done is in my collab notebook, I just uh, logged it into my specific directory. And you know, I'm just doing some experiments in my directory and you can do it in your own. So there is where I'm logged into. And then what I have done is I have installed some uh, libraries. So essentially I experimented with not only hugging face sentence transformers, but you know, open AI embeddings also different type of open AI embeddings. The code is almost same rather than having, you know, sentence transformers embedding, you can use open search embeddings, open AI embeddings. And uh, so that's 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 why I installed you know some of the libraries here. Now what I have done is I have also installed something called Open Search Py and Voto3. Again, Voto3 is optional; it doesn't require to be installed. But Open Search is nothing but a Python SDK. So through Python code, you can access uh, you know all the things which are running in this AWS Open Search instance. So that's what I did. Then I installed Sentence Transformers. And sentence transformers, as you know, is part of hugging face. So you can you know, get all the models which are used for uh, creating a sentence embedded for a particular sentence. Now, here is uh, something which is interesting. So what we are going to use is we are going to use a mini LM model. And again, uh, those who know there are separate kind of sentence transformers model available. So we are going to use mini LM for this example. Now the host uh, in the previous section, we have seen that, you know, the URL where uh, things are available is this URL. So if I go to this one, for example, you see search demo KV embedding and so on. And that's where the things are available. So this is nothing but the host where this service is running. Again, it's a HTTPS support is 43, 443, sorry. And the authentication is demo and demo at demo at 99. And uh, again, this is a bad practice to put it here. What you can do is you can either put it into an environment variable or you are going to put it into something like JSON config. That that is a good practice. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just delete this instance, post this demo. So I think this is safe. So that's 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 what we are doing. So we are just defining some configurations and you know some way of accessing that open search cluster. Uh, some uh, utility functions we define, for example, this is nothing but you know, it's going to remove some white spaces. So that's what it is doing. Now earlier, I experimented with something called Langchain. And again, Langchain is a wonderful library to do these things automatically. So what you can do is you can, you know, uh, take some raw source, you can chunk it, that is you can divide it into different source, you can connect with separate data sources, you can connect with you know URL, with text, PDF and all. You can do all the things, for example, creation of embeddings and all within Langchain. But for now, what I'm doing is pretty, very, very simple example where what I'm doing is, I'm going to create three sentences and these are like sort of legal sentences uh, and you know, uh, in a production kind of scenario, what you may have is a knowledge base, which may contain, you know, many documents and you need to split those documents into separate chunks and you can replace that thing, uh, with this, but for now I'm assuming that my knowledge base is containing only three documents, which is, you know, these three. And what we can do is it, you know, if you see the first 
sentence is talking about some dates, second is talking about, you know, some non-payment, notice of payment and so on. Third is something like, you know, something called arbitration and so on. And again, these are all legal jargons, but the thing why I wanted to show is this will create my knowledge base. And again, I'm going to put some questions across it. And what it should do is out of these three documents, based on the question that I have put, it should fetch me the correct uh, text as such, so correct sentence. That's that that it should do. So you know this is how I define my docs, and here what I'm doing I'm going to do is I'm going to encode these things. For example, if you see here, uh, for these three sentences we have created some embeddings, and those embeddings uh, are stored here. So let's say if I, you know, show you. This is this will be nothing but a vector as such. So you will have vector for each of these three documents or sentences in this case created. Now I'm just finding out what is the embedding size of a single sentence. So normally I think uh, for this case it will be around. Let's see. It will be less than 512 tokens. So 512 as such. So yeah, it's 384. So yeah. Uh, the standard size of this specific model that we are using, which is again mini LM, it actually produces you know a vector size of 384. And again, which has nothing to do with 512 token, but yeah, uh, it has some fixed length of the embeddings it can create. In case of this model, it is 384. There are models which can do you know shorter, which there are some models which it can do larger and so on. So that's what it does. Now, this is very important. So once we have the embeddings, what we are going to do is we are going to use this open search Python API. Uh, we are going to connect with it and all those credentials are defined in the earlier cell. So what we have is we are defining which host to connect, which port to connect, and we are also you know, defining the credentials, for example, username and passwords to connect and so on. And if you are successful, uh, you know, with info, you, you will get something like this, which you know tells us tells us that you know this is connected. So what you are going to do is here is you are passing some credentials and just you are seeing whether you are able to connect or not. And we are connected, so that's good. So let's say I'm going to rerun it again just to show. So yeah, we are connected now. What we can do is uh, we are we have to create something called you know some index and now index is nothing but you know uh, some sort of logical separation of uh, documents so what you can do is for example in an enterprise you can put all the hr documents in separate index all the legal documents in separate index and so on so it's uh, it's a sort of you know if i give you an analogy of database those are quite similar to uh, databases so that's that's what we are doing. So what we are doing is we are defining an index called hugging face, and once you define uh, you know uh, index, and for example, if you have to use uh, dense vectors, you have to you know give you know some sort of settings that you know what are what you are going to use it for. So again, I'm not going into details, but uh, what inherently uh, open source does it. When it creates embeddings, you can retrieve those embeddings based on many things. So what we are going to use is nothing but something called KNN, K nearest neighbor. And again, uh, if you go to the Hugging Face documentation, uh, you know, there is a nice article which is given, you know, how to use this. And again, this, as I told right now that we are using it to create embeddings, but you can use it for other purposes also. So for example, for recommendation engine and all, you can create some embeddings. You can store it for you know some line items and all, and then retrieve that. So this specific URL actually discusses all those uh, things, how it is stored and so on. For our demo purpose, what we are going to do is we are going to put the default settings, which is again uh, this one. Uh, then again, when we are creating an index, we also have to define you know that we are going to store it somewhere. 
and uh, that's what we are doing so basically what we are defining is something called mapping and those who know about elk knows that it's you know the way of defining how your structure will be stored so for example what kind of things you are storing you are storing text you know embeddings or something else and so on so that's what you know mapping tells us and the most important thing for us is that we are saying that you know it's a knn vector type which means you know what we are going to do is we are going to put you know something called uh, my vector which is having type like this so this sort of thing is going to be stored and there are many options available for example you can use different engines for now we are using this so yeah you can create this uh, index now if i'm going to create it recreate it it will give me error because it is again already created what you can do is you can delete it using this one so for example you have something called within this open search sdk what you can do is you can just delete this and you know you can recreate it but yeah like let me put it like this way that you know uh, that is what what is going to happen so let me not delete it so this is how you create those uh, index and what you are going to do next is uh, you are going to post creating an index what you are going to do is you are going to put the text as well as vector into that index so essentially what you are doing is you are indexing it so you are creating once you know id you are storing the actual text and you are storing the actual embedding, which is again derived from sentence transform. So you are storing these. So there will be three documents created within this index. That's that's what is uh, done here. Now here is the very interesting thing. So once this uh, knowledge base is created, what we can do is we can just create some queries and again those queries will be converted into same vectors and we are going to have you know the answer available for us so here for example if you see and i'm going to give you i will going to show you those documents if you see those documents yeah so first document talked about you know some date second document talk about you know something called notice and so on and third is talking about something like arbitration so if I put some queries, for example, you know, when, when I say when the exe when the exe executive will be paid as a ba base salary act. So if you see this document, document number one was talking about this thing. And if I, you know, run these two, for example, this sentence, so it will retrieve me the first sentence, which is about again, you know, the salary and dates and so on. But let's say I wanted to have some other query for example let's say who will be a notice of payment and non-payment and if you have seen document 2 was containing you know something about payment of payment and non-payment and other things borrower and lending something like that so if i run this and let me see that you know what kind of document it will say so it, it has retrieved you know document number two so that's what it did so which is good now i will just again show one more example which is we you know uh, where is arbitrator and the third document was talking about you know something called arbitration government arbitration and all so if i run this and if i see it should you know again get me the third document which was talking about arbitration so yeah that's that's the beauty of this that you know you can retrieve your knowledge base and you know you can do much more things rather than only retrieving you can you know augment that data you can have some sort of post processing done but again this shows you know how it is to use open search to create embeddings for this example i have used a uh, hugging face but definitely you know almost same kind of results or maybe sometimes better results we can get with open ai uh, embeddings so yeah uh, that's that's about you know how do we use this open search service to create you know your vectors and retrieve this hope you like this video thank you so much until next time thanks